It only took the city three days to put a fresh coat of asphalt on one of Albuquerque's busiest and most beat up intersections. They've had a plan to do it since 2018. So why did it take six years to see this project come to life? As News 13's Jessica Salinas learned, it's because of your complaints that the work finally got done. It was nice to see it being done. It's a smoother ride for people driving through University and Lomas. It was extremely bad before. You had to slow down way down when you crossed over it because there was a big bump in the middle. Now it's just a lot better. But before the project, the intersection was among the worst in the city with cracking pavement and tons of patches. Six years ago, the city told News 13 there was a plan to repave it. Gosh, what took them so long? Because it's been a very long time. Going through that intersection, you really had to slow down because you'd hit a couple of those wide cracks and potholes that would just jar you. The city called the three-day project maintenance, paid with $280,000 in road repair tax funds. We asked the city why it took over five years to do the job, but they wouldn't answer the question. Instead, a Department of Municipal Development spokesman told us they finally prioritized the work because of the number of 311 complaints they got about the intersection. I guess that's a that's a good thing that they would have a system where people could call in and and you know report grievances or whatever about the roads. The city says they're also looking to repave Gibson and San Mateo, saying that area also has numerous complaints. Some drivers say they're surprised to hear the complaints are why the city finally took action. You just keep keep calling, keep complaining if you have issues and hopefully they'll get to them eventually. Jessica Salinas, CARE News 13. There is a bigger project on the horizon at University and Lomas that the city says will get started once UNMH has finished building its new hospital tower.